What is going on guys, Dimity so back. Today, we're gonna have Caleb Paradox up, drive my X3 for the first time. You guys loved when he drove my truck for the first time and gave it kind of his uh, own review. So today, we're gonna Dog have- shit. <laughs> this is high class, high dollar. <laughs> yeah, this, this shit costs more than this shit box right here. I was thinking, I got some ideas. I was looking at your truck earlier. I got some ideas. We're gonna plan some stuff out for that front end because right now, White plastic dip would probably look better than that raw plastic. You know what I mean? We'll get something. Well, this out this it. shines up when it's actually washed, but well, we got a color. It was. It. It's I don't, I don't want color match. Color match if white. You, no. If you got a second gen in my house, I'm gonna start rubbing and and putting my little taste and colors. We got to get you a ten. That's like ten bucks. Yeah. On eBay. I've been rocking that badge. for for so long. We'll do something with this. We'll put this black back to black. We'll make this white. We'll buff this paint up. I just don't like white. We'll buff this paint up. We'll shine the shine this out. You know, if a second gen's at my house, I gotta put my love and touch on it. So, anytime a second gen's around me, it's like I gotta touch it. I gotta I gotta do something with it. Yeah, he so, definitely wants to fix that steering for sure, though. I want to <laughs> fix the steering. I want to fix the AC. I want to fix all the things. That if you're daily driving it, you want to work, and we can easily shine this thing up. If we need to hit the hit the edge like the tailgate with a little bit of bed liner spray or something, we can. I'm all about the little tiny details. So if there's little scratches and stuff in it that we can get out. I'll buff it out and we'll have this thing looking good. Little do you know, he really wants to fix it up so I can sell it. All right. <laughs> I'm. T I've been telling him he should sell it. I tried to get him to sell that thing before he came here so he can build something more gear for the south because this thing. Build something as in like buy something already built. Yeah, built. Snorkel. Yeah. You don't ever want to have to really touch any. Okay, I bought an OEM snorkel kit for my Defender. That's the only way I would go with a snorkel kit. You don't want to be running PVC piping on a freaking $28,000 machine. So if you buy something like an X3, you want to get something that's already snorkeled like from factory XMR. So that thing, I can guarantee you, is worth more in California because the need for it and the want for it is more. Yeah, than so, here in the south. yeah, this is built for, you know, desert and not mud like what they have here in the south. You guys seen me in the last video, um, I took this thing to the mud, it did great. The mud that I took it in, it was deep for this setup that I had, but it did great. I just have to build it to go deeper, which would be a lift and bigger wheels and tires. I don't want to put portals on it because that will basically take away all the power that yeah. this thing has. It would lower which, the gears and it would yeah. max out in low gear at like 25 miles an hour, if that. Depending on the gear ratio you get when you order your GDP portals. So, yeah. just depends. But we are gonna have Caleb Paradox drive the X3 for the first time today. He's only gonna be well, now the third person ever to drive it. That's not me. So four people have ever driven this thing. He's gonna be the third person, not including me. To drive this thing i've never drove an x3 before either i mean i drove one around a parking lot one time when i was looking at buying one and i just i just you couldn't really open it up actually, in the parking lot yeah i couldn't open it up and i put a bid on that one i put a bit of it was built fully built they wanted like forty thousand, and i <sighs> i told them i no more than 34. it was built huge they wanted way too much for it i made a video on it actually but that's the one i test drove since then haven't touched one so for those of you guys that don't know this is the 2018 can Am Maverick X3 X RS Turbo R. It is uh, one of the higher models that you can get. You know, it has the bypass shocks and everything like that. Uh, 72 inch wheelbase, 172 horsepower, and um, he's gonna give us his review. I want three things from him at the end of this video. One would be how is the power. Two, how is the suspension. So we're gonna go over some bumps and um, stuff like that. That's the main thing with these x3s is the suspension is great with the, the straight out of the showroom it's great you can tune it to make it even better but yeah i want to get his reaction to the 0 to 60 the power suspension how does it feel compared to you know his side by side his side by side is utility it's not going to be as top of the line as this kind of suspension but it does tow goosenecks yeah tows goosenecks with f-250s on it <laughs> For sure. Yeah, if you guys want to go see that video, link will be in the description below. And then number three is if you would buy one. So I'll, I'll give you the, I can give you those. Let's go ahead and hop in and uh, get this video on the road. 
Not crazy about the doors on these. I like how the razors in the new like 2020s like, reverse the door because that makes no sense. You know, mud and rocks and whatever you kick over your front tires just comes right in. I hope can am I know they make cheap half doors that you can fill that gap in. But you can get uh, fully just critic. You can get fully built full doors for like cheap, like four or five hundred. <laughs> Good. That exhaust sounds really good. Why are you so close? That's wide angle, bro. Oh shit! I don't have that. That's nice. I don't have the wide angle. I'm close. I'm like six inches from his face, and you can see like the whole background. Hell yeah! <laughs> nice. Careful, oh, yeah. drive so. my can-am but he's gonna come down here and try to drift this corner we're gonna see how good his we're gonna see how good his drifting skills are he's never really driven an x3 like he's driving right now so hopefully he doesn't crash into that uh stop sign <laughs> and if he doesn't we'll be all good so here he comes he's got the headlights on looking freaking good actually pretty freaking sick hey props to him <laughs> now he just left me behind he's all the way down there now but yeah look at the freaking skid marks oh this thing this thing is a beast if you guys do not have one yet and you guys want to go fast get an x3 that's <laughs> way better than players players are just built cheap we were at the uh, mud park the other day and a players uh, razor broke a tie rod and I saw the tie rod and it was like that freaking skinny and then you look at mine and it's a big fat. Like, Polaris are just built cheap. Do not buy a Polaris, get a, get a Can-Am X3. You will not regret it. Keep doing donuts. Oh, you got a car coming. 
gonna be bad for the people that live around here. I know some of these people have like two-wheel drive little sedans and they can't get through these ruts if it starts raining so we don't want to rut the place out so you can see I was kind of going a little easy on it have a little bit of fun and test this thing out so 10 out of 10 so far 10 out of 10 making me want to go buy one but I may just steal this one Like you're spinning tires and you're not even putting all the power. To no, this. no, you can't because if you just if you put the power, you gotta you gotta fill that thing out, fill that pedal out because you just nail it. You're just gonna do donuts and yeah, you're gonna be out of control. But the gotta, first time I drove this thing, yeah. You, if you guys saw his video at the uh, Mudden Park, I was just doing donuts. I don't think you put the first donuts I did, but I was just doing yeah, donuts. I was doing was bars, good. bars, bars, just like ten donuts, just round and round and round. If you feather the feather the throttle right. Yeah. Oh, you can easy. just yeah, yeah i just didn't want to tear that road up yeah all right guys that was caleb's first ride first time driving yeah. my x3 so i wanted him to answer three questions one would be the power of it what's your uh, power nine out of ten nine out i'll of give ten. it a nine out of ten what would be ten out of ten with a side by side uh, ain't nothing more powerful than this shit. i mean tune big turbo yeah i mean you, you can't but like a, a ten out of ten a stock, stock a stock x3 a stock uh, a, a stock side by side. How about that? You know, Polaris ain't oh. faster than this shit. Probably ten out of ten stock. Probably ten out of ten. Yeah. And then so people number... are gonna say the Yamaha YXZ. All right, no, I agree with you. X3, hands down. And the the power is amazing. If you guys don't have one, like I said, go get yourself one. Number two was the suspension. How to handle going over bumps and everything like that. How was uh, it handling the turns? Easy. Your, uh... I feel like an amateur driver can. This is my first time driving this thing. Obviously, your first time driving something, you gotta fill it out for a minute, and then the second time driving it, you're just balls to the wall. Mm -hmm. And especially if you got the terrain to do so, uh, we were kind of limited on our terrain that what we could actually do. But it'd be nice to go to a mud park and just be able to tear things up and just rip the hell out of this thing, and make jumps. Oh, yeah. But from what I could tell, the uh, handling and the suspension, I'd give it a nine out of ten. It's hard to give something a ten out of ten. Yeah. Because nothing's perfect. Some everything can be improved. We can adjust. We can adjust this, adjust that. And we can fine tune it. But nine out of ten for sure. All right. And then uh, last question would be: Would he buy one? Would I buy one? If they were a little bit cheaper, I'd probably buy one. Well, you can buy the base models. You just won't have you the know turbo, the power that this one has. Yeah. You won't have the the suspension setup. This, uh, but this we're one talking has. about this one. Okay. We're this talking one. about this one. We're not talking about anyone else. So. The price is just, and le if they come down on the price a little bit, you know, a few grands, four or five Gs maybe, but then you're looking at freaking four wheeler territory, renegade territory. They come down four or five Gs, but I don't know, maybe maybe three Gs, and I'd pop one. But they're like twenty eight, right? So depending on the market, where you are, the time of the year, and that year model. I'm not talking about two years ago model. You can get these. You can pick these up for like less, 18, probably less than 19, 20, yeah, less than 18, 20 grand right now. now. Yeah. So a used, a slightly used one, I think is probably worth it. But brand new, it's hard to, hard to say. For, Unless you just get a stupid deal on one. Yeah. Some places give you good, really good deals. You know, if you know someone that works at a dealership, they can hook you up. Mm -hmm. But for buying used ones like this, a sport model. Yeah. People rag the shit out of them. I would not buy a used sport side by side like this one because you know people are gonna say, "Oh, never, you know, never over rev, never hot rodded, and stuff like that." People say that with trucks all the time, and you know mm -hmm. that they're rolling coal in it. They do a whole bunch of shit. So if you can find 
a 2018, 2019 still on the showroom floor for less than 20,000, go ahead and buy it. I mean, this one, when I picked it up in 2018, after, you know, taxes and, and interest, it was close to like 28,000. Dude, that's Ooh. like a newer, tr that, that could have got me a new truck. Yeah. Well, but, I don't know about a new truck. Well, yeah, not a new truck, but a newer truck. Yeah. Like a, you know, I could have bought a fourth gen yeah. with that money. Fourth, you know, I could have yeah. bought a newer truck than a 2001, you know, but mm -hmm. I wanted to have fun and I already had a truck to drive. So, um, yeah. Any final thoughts that you have? I say the steering is probably the best part about this thing. Yeah, it's if, if just the dirt wasn't in here, you can change it from high to low and medium and stuff like that. Yeah. I always run it medium and it, the steering. Besides the power, yeah. I say the steering. Uh, the suspension was really good too, but the steering just, oh, you know, seeing me playing around with it just on the roads going 60 and it was just, you could turn on a dime. You just not, sit there and rock it. Yeah, we should have had you drive in an eco mode and see the difference. No, it's straight to sport. Straight to sport. We ain't got no time for you. That's money. what I. That's what I should have done when my girlfriend drove it. Yes, Shut or up. not yesterday, but a couple of days ago. I should have put the, green, put the key. green key. In. The green key is half power, and I should have put on eco mode too, and it would have been slower than shit. And she would have yeah. got back and be like, "This thing is so fast and fun. <laughs> <laughs> like you ain't seen nothing yet." Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, there is Caleb Paradox's review on my 2018 KM Maverick X3 XRS Turbo R. Yep. Um, Here's the turbo, it's pretty hot right here. Whew. Little tiny turbo. Dude, we could take that thing. I got a HX35 in the garage. <laughs> yeah, I got a HY35. Yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, guys, there's there's the uh, turbo. We're gonna get a blow off valve on this thing soon and it's gonna sound straight nasty with this exhaust setup. Thing's badass. Yeah, so if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to Paradox. Link will be in the description below. If you guys have any other questions you want him to answer, leave them in the comments below. And that's going to do it for us. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Dip and Diesel, out.